quick, right? We did some meads here. I wanted to show you, we did added bentonite to this and you can see it clearing up. Right, and we added bentonite to this one. You can see that everything's starting to settle to the bottom of this bottle. So they're starting to clear up. This meat here in this jar with the little balloon that we added the bentonite was done at the same time as this meat here. So they were both done on 1.7. You can see this one did not have anything added to it and it's still thick and fermenting. And I want to show you that this one was done at the same time over here, and it's already starting to clear up with the bentonite additive. So, these were the ones that we added bentonite to. This one was done in December, and we used the bentonite to kind of clear it up a little bit, so it's clearing up really good. This one right here is starting to clear up with the bentonite, and that was the one that was done the same time with no bentonite. So that's just to show you how the bentonite's working to clear up the meads. And then we did one with a mixture. This one right here, I can hear it in the, even in the balloon. It's, it's activation is huge. This was the mix of the, uh, it has the distiller's turbo yeast, the red and the blue. So it had the premier yellow pack and the blue pack Shavaz with the distiller's yeast to give it a wood taste. It's, I mean, it's really going. And then we did one open fermentation. I decided to peel back everything. This one was done where we added bee pollen. And I wanted to show you that the open fermentation is happening. Right, and this is in uh, two weeks. That it's already starting to foam and cluster, right, over the top. So this is the activation with water, honey, and using pollen and open fermentation, right, that uh, we didn't add any yeast to it. This is just pollen with the open fermentation. And this is probably going to take a year to do. But you can see it's already started here and starting to work. So I'm just going to put the cheesecloth back down over it. And that's what we're using for the airlock is basically we're using ambience without flies or anything getting into it. And that's old school. So here in January... Uh, we showed one that we started right there. This is the first one. This is a gallon of mead that we made the 1st of January. This is the second one we did. So, so that one was done. This one was done with that one. We did all the yeast to show the different yeast. And as you can see, these are starting to take off here. It took a little bit longer for them to get going. Right? Remember how small those balloons were? So there's one gallon, two gallons, three gallons, four gallons. Right there is two. So that's five gallons, six gallons, seven gallons. So basically here in January, we've processed seven gallons. And we're also going to add the... Uh, two new ones, one showing one without nutrients and one showing nutrients. So we're going to have a couple more gallons sitting here. But this is January's batch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll have the next two for eight and nine. There's nine meads made in one month. There are nine gallons made in one month. Uh, all different styles. Regular. The four different types of yeast. Some were cleared up using bentonite. Mixture of yeast. Open fermentation. And then we'll probably have two sitting here that's going to show one without nutrient. One with nutrient so we can show baseline. So this will help you see the difference. And then we'll get into using some water. Thank you.